All right, welcome back everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about basic word processing. So it is likely if you are using the Braille Note Touch Plus for school-related activities, you will use it for things like writing papers. Writing papers, unless you are doing it by hand or like with a Braille writer, it will require word processing. The Braille Note Touch Plus uses a program called Keyword for its word processing. In this video, we are going to go over a few of the basics of word processing to get you started. We will discuss and demonstrate creating a document, saving a document, moving around in your document, using the cursor router buttons, and exiting a document. I would like to take this opportunity to remind everyone about the cheat sheets that are in the description of these videos. These are documents that have brief summaries and lay out the step-by-steps um, used in each various video. If you find it helpful, go ahead and you can emboss the BRF version of those to have with you as you work through the videos. So first up, we're going to go over how to create a document. All right, let's create a document together. So we're going to start from our main menu you are not already at your main menu, go ahead and press that circle button and it will take you right there. Next, we're going to navigate to the word processing program. You can do this two different ways. One, you can use your thumb key keys, of course, to navigate through the menu, or you can press the letter W. Word processor, and, keyword. And it will take you right there in the menu. To open up, open up the keyword word processing program, go ahead, press enter. Keyword menu, create. And then it's going to take you into the menu. Create is, a first, is your first option, and that's going to allow you to create a new document. So go ahead, press enter on create. Edit box, end of document. And you're in a brand new blank document. I would like you right now, once you've created your own new document, go ahead and type a joke or two sentences about something really funny that's happened to you. Next, we are going to go over how to save a document and specifically cover the difference between save and save as. Let's talk saving a document. So it's super simple to save your work as you're working in Keyword. There are two different co commands or and concepts that I want you to be aware of and know the difference of. Those are save and save as. Save is the command that you will use for when you are working in a document that you have already um, saved and named, and you're just using it as you, as you work on it to save your work. Save as is going to be used for the first time you save a document, or if you are in a document that you've previously saved, but you want to change like the name of it or the file type or like where it's saved. So first thing we're going to demonstrate is the save as command. Now I want you to note that it's going to be a little bit different because um, I have already saved this, this document on here, but I do want you to hear what you may hear if, you, if this comes up on a document that you've already saved. So we're going to go ahead and the command for save as is backspace plus s. Enter file name edit box jokes. So it's going to save as. It's going to pop you into an edit box where you can name your file. My edit box already has the previous title that I named it as which is jokes. So for this purpose I'm going to delete the file name and I only had to hit the backspace one time for it to totally clear out the name. And I'm just going to rename it Jokes. J-O-K-E-S. Now, when I'm done with that, all I'm going to do is press enter. Now, for you guys saving your file for the first time, it's going to put you right back in your document. But when I press enter to save it, it's going to ask me if I want to override the document. This is important for you to know because this might happen to you as well and it's totally not a big deal. So I'm gonna press enter. Alert, key files. Are you sure you want to overwrite this file? So here's the- Cancel, okay. 
So here's the warning message and I have two options, which is cancel, which means, nope, I don't want to override it or okay, which is um, yes, I do want to override it and make these changes. So I'm going to move over with my thumb keys. Key files. Are you sure you want to overwrite this cancel button? Okay, button. I'm just going to use my cursor to select. Edit box. Beginning of field. And I'm already back in my document. So the other command that I want to demonstrate is just plain save. And again, you're going to use that when you are working in a document. Um, say, say you just wrote um, a new paragraph and you want to make sure you save your work and don't lose it. You're going to go ahead and do a space plus S. Edit box. Why? Why? And that's on the basics of saving. Next, we're going to go through some frequently used key commands used to navigate text in Keyword. Alrighty, at this point in the video, you should have opened Keyword, created a document, written a joke or a short funny story in your document, and saved your document. Now, we're going to talk about some of the commands that are used pretty frequently to navigate text. I want to say this is not a complete list of all the commands to use for this, um, this task. It's just some that are more popular. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to demonstrate how to move character by character. So if you want to go to the previous character, you're going to do a space and dot three. D. I, D. If you want to see the cur current character that you're on, you're going to do space, that's three and six. Dead, dead, dead. And if you want to go to the next character, you're going to do, um, oh, I made a mistake. So current character, you're going to, three. Whoops, you're going to do space plus dots three, six. D, D, D. There we go. I was jumping ahead. Next character, we're going to do space plus dot six. I, D, space. So take a moment and practice those. Previous is space plus dot three. Current character is space plus dot three, six. And next character is space plus dot six. Next, let's, let's move on to moving word by word. To find your, to go backwards and find your previous word, we're going to do a space plus dots two. Did. Why? To find your, or see what current word you're on, we're going to do space plus dots two five. Why? 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 And to go to your next word, you're going to do space plus dot five. Why? Did. The. Teddy. So now you can go ahead and give that a try. Previous word, space plus dot two. Current word, space plus dots two five. And next word is space plus dot five. Next, I'm going to show you how to move paragraph by paragraph. This is going to be really handy if you have written like a really long paper. To go to your previous paragraph, you're going to press space plus dots two, three. And I'm at the top of my document, so it's not going to let me go anywhere. To read my current paragraph, it's going to be space plus dots two, three, five, six. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? To go to the next paragraph, space dots five and six. Because she was stuffed. Chest. So give this a try. Previous paragraph, that's two and three plus space. Current paragraph, space plus dots two, three, five, six. And next paragraph, space plus dots five and six. Next. I'm going to show you how to get to the top or the bottom of your document very quickly. 
To go to the top of your document, you are going to do a space plus dot one, two, three. Top. And to get to the bottom of your document, you're going to do a space dot four, five, six. Bottom. So get, go ahead and give that a try. And then finally, top. I'm going to demonstrate if that you are probably going to have a lot of scenarios where you want to read your whole document. And so to do that, you're going to do a read all command, which is space plus G. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because she was stuffed. Chest. And where that read all will work from is it's going to go to the um, wherever you are at in the document. So if I go up to the top of my document and I'm going to do use the paragraph by paragraph. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? And so there's different ways to get to the top, but now I'm going to do a space G. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because she was stuffed. Test. All right. And then if I am reading through my paper and if I want for it to, to stop speaking, I'm just going to do the same command we've talked about before, which is enter plus backspace. And that will stop your speech. So go ahead and give read all and stop speaking a try. Next, I'm going to briefly go over how to use your cursor router buttons to do some simple editing of text. Next, I want to touch on your cursor router buttons. These are super handy for when you want to make small edits, such as inserting a word or deleting a word. If you're deleting a word, you are going to want to make sure that your cursor is to the right of the word that you want to delete. So you might ask, well, how do I know where my cursor is? Easy. Your cursor shows up as dots seven and eight on your refreshable braille display. To move your cursor, all you simply do is press the cursor router button and it just needs to be in the correct cell that you want it to be. So if I want to delete the word um, because, I'm going to need my cursor to be to the right of the C. Space. So I've moved my cursor and then I can go ahead and I can delete this word. Let's say I want to insert a word in front of because. Well, then I'm going to move my cursor router to the left of the word because. And all I do is simply push the cursor router button in the cell I want it to be. Now, please be very mindful of spacing. When you're inserting a word, you are going to want to make sure that you put in that extra space after you've written the word to ensure it is spaced correctly and you don't have two words running in together. Hope that helps. And then finally, I'm going to cover how to exit a document. Finally, I want to touch on exiting a document. So, so far in this video, you've created a document, you've written in the document, you've saved the document. Maybe you've even taken an opportunity to do a little editing in the document and you're done working for the day. Exiting a document is super simple. The command to exit is space plus E. If you have not done a, a save um, since you've last completed work on your document, the touch will prompt you to save your um, to save your document. So let's give it a try. So space plus E. Well, do you want to save your document? Yes. And I'm going to press enter. Keyword menu. And open. And then it's going to put me right back into the keyword menu. And if I want to go back to my main menu, I can either press my circle button or I can use the triangle to move back. Main menu. Contacts. Key list. And those are the basics of word processing. Again, I want to reiterate, these are just the bare minimum skills to get you started and get you comfortable using this device.